Hey sweeties, it's Didi. Welcome back to the dollhouse and to another plan with me. Today I am once again in my recollections spiral planner planning for the week of July 6th through the 12th and I am using this good vibes principal kit from glam planner and yeah well let's get started so this is the week after 4th of July we are home uh, for now um, no real plans nothing serious going on uh, just kind of existing as you do trying to keep my kids entertained basically it's the highlight of my day uh, and you might notice that I have this super adorable bandage I managed to slice my thumb open opening a can of beans on Saturday when we were barbecuing for 4th of July so that was fun I got a good war wound and it just stopped bleeding like I really thought Brenda was gonna make me go to urgent care or the ER or something because it really did just stop bleeding. It was still like blood in the bandage today. So that was fun. Last year for 4th of July, we went to the emergency room because Master threw an apple at his brother's head and knocked him in the head. And last year, 4th of July, Majesty was like, you know, two months old. So an apple to the head, or no, a month old. He had just, yeah, he's June 4th, so July 4th, he was a month old. So apple to the brain is kind of, kind of a lot for an itty bitty baby like that. So yeah, we definitely had to take him to the ER for that one. So we spent most of, we woke up and went to the, like we left the house and went to like our primary care physician like not even thinking that like it's a holiday, nobody's gonna be open. So we went to our primary care physician, primary care physician's office was closed and it was like, oh yeah, because holiday. So then we ended up at the emergency room. We spent an entire day at the ER. Like most of the 4th of July we spent at the ER trying to get somebody to look at this baby. And then it turned out it was nothing. Like I was really, I was making him stay awake because you're not supposed to let people sleep when they have concussions. Or I was under the impression you're not supposed to let people sleep when they have concussions because that can be bad for them, question mark. I'm not sure how. It's one of those things where like I know it from common knowledge. I don't know why it's a thing. I don't know why you're not supposed to let people fall asleep if they have concussion. I mean, I'm sure it's a thing I could simply Google, but if you know, let me know in the comments why you're not supposed to let people fall asleep when they have a concussion. I'm sure there's some very important medical reason. But anyway, so I was making this one month old infant stay awake because I was terrified that he had a concussion and like letting him fall asleep was gonna be just the worst thing ever. And then the doctor was like, no, he's fine. Everything's fine. You guys go ahead and go home. And I felt so dumb after doing all, after spending an entire day at the ER, not letting the baby nap, all that. And it's me, both boys, in the in the emergency room. Because this is when we were still living in Arizona. Oh yeah. So I was, but I was determined I was not going to, even if I actually was falling apart. I was not going to, I was not going to ER. I just wasn't. I was just gonna bleed. It was just gonna happen because I was not going to the doctor on 4th of July. Not again. Um, what color do we need to introduce to the sidebar? We got pink, we got the green, we got the, you know, I guess we need to introduce the red. 
cuts are all slightly off, so it's gonna be white. So I'm gonna turn this upside down. So the white face is this box. Like that. Oot. All right, sidebar. Let's move on to structure for J's. Okay, here's a question. Are we using glitter headers? We could use glitter headers in the middle. that to do today and I can't color block because the way her headers are maybe now would be a good time to introduce some foil I thought gold foil would go really well with this kit so maybe we throw in some foil that could be fun do something different step out of your comfort zone let's do that Yeah, so we spent 4th of July with one of Mr.'s friends. We had barbecue. I really just wanted, I really wanted meat cooked over fire. Like that was kind of my only parameter for 4th of July this year was like meat and fire. And Mr. was like, well, we could wait for the grills at our apartment complex to be open or we could just go to my friend's house. He's got a grill. <sighs> And I mean, sure, let's go interact socially with other people. That sounds like fun. Said no one, ever. At least not me. But we went, and it was nice. Um, this particular friend of Miss, he's moving to Charlotte, so I want Babe to get as much time with his friends as he can before they move, because that's sad, and like, your friend moving away is like, what makes you say it? Leaving your friends is hard and stuff. As I know from experience. But, so yeah, so we did that. We were social for 4th of July. And you know what being social got me? A war wound. That you teach your kids. Stay at home. This washi's not straight. Yeah. If you don't like planner girls who spend an inordinate amount of time trying to sh make their stickers and washi straight, you probably don't enjoy me. And I apologize for that, but that's how I am. And as much as I feel bad about it, I don't feel bad about it. I just want all my stickers and all my washi and all my life to be straight. <laughs> I feel like it's not that much to ask. I just want my whole life to be in order. Okay, so to do at the top. Yeah? Are you gonna? Are you gonna? Yeah? Okay. Cool. These are super miscut. Um, this is a printable, so. I did buy the files and then print and cut them at home, so I cannot say that it's a Glam Planner's fault that it's miscut. It's well, me. This is actually the first printable kit that I bought um, when I got on my printable kit, and I mentioned I like I told y'all in a in my first one of me that's posted on this shit. Like the first of my, the one that I, the first plan with me from last Sunday, from yesterday. The first planner, from, the first plan with me from yesterday. I told you that I was on like a printable kick. Had gotten obsessed with printables and was like ordering them from Print Pretty Coat Bandit and Planner Pixie Co which are basically the only two shops that I have ordered from besides Glam Planner. And I definitely pref the Planner Pixie Co. and Print Petticoat Bandit printables for their like format. I think, you know, Glam Planner is a print sticker shop. Like she sells printed stickers. 
she's not a predominantly printable shop so like her format is definitely for that for printed stickers but I did like this kit and it was seeing printables in her shop that got me on the train of doing printables like printing them like actually ordering printable stickers and printing and cutting them so there's that if it weren't for this kit I wouldn't have any of the other ones but I did buy this one specifically for the summertime and we're here so yeah let's do this this is gonna be a good week I've been having like a lot of really lazy weeks and I'm trying to not I'm trying to do better um as you know we got engaged do you know you don't know you haven't seen that plan with me yet it's coming out on Sunday um, so spoiler alert we're engaged ho 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 but I, um, I'm trying to lose weight before the wedding, as you do. And I have, the, originally the plan was to do intermittent fasting. My younger sister was like, this is IF, it'll be great. You can do this, lose some weight, be super cute for your Yan Wedingo. And I was like, okay, sounds good. I'll try it. Um, it did not go well. By it did not go well, I mean I didn't uh, actually do it at all. Um, so the way she explained it to me, I didn't do any of my own research, but the way she explained it to me was like you have a window within which you can eat outside of your window. You don't eat within your window. You can eat as you please, but like, you know take into account what you're eating because you're like still trying to lose weight. Don't eat a whole cake just because you're within your eating window. And I was like, cool, sounds good. I will give myself a early window because I have aspirations of waking up early, doing exercise in the morning and then like starting my day before the boys wake up just so I can be like super mom or whatever. and have breakfast and stuff ready for them and things like that. So I aspire to wake up early in the morning and start my day before they start theirs. So I was like, I will start my eating window early, like seven in the morning, give myself six hours. I think originally I was closing my eating window at three in the afternoon. And so it was like, okay, I have until three in the afternoon to eat between the whatever time and three so go and the first day I was like at the grocery store buying stuff to make lunch when my window closed and I was like all right well guess I'm not eating anything like I had had breakfast that morning and nothing else and I was like well I guess I'm done eating for the day awesome mm. so obviously that failed because I got hungry <laughs> and I was just like it I was hungry to the point that I couldn't ignore it and I was like yeah this isn't gonna work for me let's like I will cheat today and eat and I will be back on it tomorrow promise no exceptions was my thought process like I will I'll eat today call it you know call it good because I can't not eat that's just not gonna work for me so I'll eat today and then I will not eat um, for the foreseeable like today I will cheat tomorrow I won't sorry I can't word and plan at the same time it's very difficult I need a header just so I can this isn't staying, I just need to know the distance. So I can put some washing down. 
yeah anyway so I will eat I will cheat today I will eat because I'm hungry and I can't uh, I'm not gonna make it through the eating through the night if I don't eat something so I eat today and then tomorrow I will do better and then tomorrow came and I did not do better and so I was like well maybe I'll just move my eating with I'll make it later I will just eat later in the day so I tried that again it was not the uh, motion I failed again so I was like well maybe I need to make my eating window longer maybe I'm not giving myself enough time you know so then I decided to extend my eating window and I still I cheat like I get I eat late I just in the middle of the night I want not in the middle of the night like it's not you know 2 a.m. or anything but like at for to, my eating window would close at like 5 and I would be hungry at like 7 okay that makes sense so it's not like late but it's outside of what I've established as my window and so I after you know a week and a half two weeks of that I was just like well maybe this isn't for me so I will try to exercise and I have since we've been back home I have exercised twice once last week and then today today is Monday the 6th by the way uh, so I have exercised twice and I mean better than nothing but <laughs> barely I just I feel like I should be in better shape than I am I feel like I should be in any shape at all and I mean it's not I have, I have two small children. I have a one-year-old and a two-year-old. I get it. Um, I haven't done anything active in years. When I stopped running track in college, I stopped doing anything. Like when I was in, when I was in law school, like my, my guy friend Gary and I would like go to the gym, but like even that was, I mean, it wasn't consistent where like I should feel where I should expect that I'm in any kind of shape but I'm not and it's really discouraging the the first time I went and worked out was the day my mom had my mom had to have a surgery and I went then and I was like really really scared for her surgery and was really in my feelings so I was like exercising super hard and like running stairs and doing sit-ups <laughs> and all kinds of nonsense because I was just like I just wanted to be out and doing something and came home and was like dead to the world tired and like it's impractical when you have like two small kids and like Lorenzo's here but he's working from home so like he has this full work day it's like you can't exercise until you burn out when you have like a whole mom life to then continue to do. So today I took it, I took it easier. I walked most of it. I went around our neighborhood. We live in like a very industrial like area. There's not a lot of, um, there's not a lot of places for just walking where we live. Like, there's not a whole heck of a lot of sidewalks or anything. So, I mean, that being said, I did that. I went for this, I went for this walk. I just went. And I'm trying to, I'm making an effort to improve myself. Not just with the weight loss, but like in general. So I listened to a sermon by Priscilla Scherer. Priscilla Sher? Sherer? Shire? Shire. It might be Shire. Ugh. Um, she is a female pastor. She was in that movie War Room. And 
My mom recommended her to me because she is kind of, she's a young-ish mom and very new millennium and she's just cool and I like her, she's motivational. So I was listening to one of her sermons while I walked and then I walked until I got onto the street that leads to our street. And by that point I had finished the sermon. So then I started listening to Megan The Stallion radio and started running. And uh, Megan The Stallion is my life. I would like to be her when I grow up. Like she's so pretty and super thick and like sex positive and I just love her so. So yeah, so I ran to Megan The Stallion and then got home that's definitely not straight, right? I'm not crazy, that's not straight. Ugh, this is so fresh. And like, I wanna just be like, it's fine, move on, but it's not fine and it's gonna drive me crazy and so I have to fix it. Stallion's body, and yeah, I mean, I do not presume that I would get Megan the Stallion's body, like, she is thicker than a snicker, and I am not, <laughs> but I do like, I feel like I would benefit from doing more exercise, so yeah, that makes sense, self-improvement, listening to Priscilla Shearer, sermon, jogging, basically trying to be a better person. I think I've taken on the idea of like happier resolutions, so I didn't stick to any of my New Year's resolutions, so luckily I didn't uh, mention any of my New Year's resolutions on the internet, but I am making happier resolutions, so from July onward I have resolutions and we'll see how they go wish me luck um, one of my half year resolutions was to get active on this channel and start posting videos and being better about that because like the last video I posted on the channel was like a year ago or some such so you know go me or whatever really funny because like my mom I texted my family is like a group chat I texted the group and I was like hey everybody go watch my new videos I need the views <laughs> help me out and my mom was like I can't see what you're doing on the the Memorial Day video she's like I can't see what you're doing the light's too bright I don't know what you're doing until after it's over and then I went back and watched it and was like wow this is super overexposed I feel bad because like I had adjusted the lighting because generally I film Sunday nights, like while B is at Billionaire's Boy, at Caribbean Boys Club after the boys go to sleep. And like the lighting isn't great. So I like color correct after the fact. But I think I'm gonna try to just wait and do it during the day so that I can have a better lighting. Okay, I'm having a crisis right now. I don't know what for this one. I don't want to use, I mean, I already have the hand. I already have the girl twice. I don't much care for these loafers. So I guess that means I'm using the dog. No offense to the dog, I just didn't really 
particularly want to use it. I mean, it's cute enough, but I'm not, that's not what I was trying to do, but I prefer the dog to those loafers. I'm not gonna lie. So, here we are. All right. What's up? Doing great. Good times, good times. All right, so today has pretty much already got it going. So I can drop some things in for today. What I got? I actually haven't even had coffee today. That's wild. That's wild, son. Let's see. What do I want to? What do I want to say about today? Well, I think I want a Monday through Friday because I would like to work out five days this week and it would make me very happy if I could do that and then maybe I can like color in the star if I work out it'll be like that'll be cute uh, I think it'll be cute yeah so if I work out I get to color in the star and if I don't work out then I have an empty star and that will hopefully motivate me to work out because I really need to get my exercise on. It's kind of imperative that I do better. Okay, so we got those. We got that. And then what else? Oh, today I took the boys to the park. I think I'll have one of these for every day for what I do, the activity that the boys and I do. Today we went to the playground in our, do I want to put exercise at the top of the day? I kind of want to put exercise at the top of the day and do like my day in chronological order. Is that doing too much? I mean, it's my planner, I'll do what I want. Excuse me while I flip this day around. Or I could even, do I want to put exercise in the to-do list? Is that a thing I want to do today? <sighs> I am so indecisive. It's wild. The only thing I am certain about is that I am not certain. I thought that was funny. Okay. <sighs> I'm tired guys, I'm tired, I'm getting old. But both the boys are napping at the same time today, which is wild, it, that never happens. Um, it's like a unicorn, getting both the boys to be napping at the same time. They're in there with their dad while he works on whatever it is that he works on, business office in the business office, office business in the business office. Um, yeah, so I was really excited that I had a chance to film because it never happens, it never happens that they're both down at the same time. I mean, besides like in the middle of the night. For them to both be napping at the same time is very exciting. And I, it's something I've been, it's a schedule I've been trying to get them on for a while. So the fact that it worked out is awesome. try that this week. And then activities with my children. What we're gonna do in this one. And 
I'm working on a new daily schedule. I'm trying to see how this will work for us where um, I exercise in the morning and then the boys wake up, we do our little morning routine, diaper changes, um, put master on the, like laying master go potty. Um, Majesty has eczema and so getting all of his, like getting him lotion, having him do all his medicated lotions. And then once we're done with the morning routine and breakfast, I want to take them out to do whatever outside activity we're gonna do. So be it going to the pool or going to the playground or going to the state park and walking, whatever we're gonna do for the day, I wanna do that before lunch, between breakfast and lunch. I want us to have our outside adventure so we can call it done if we need to run errands. And I want this to be our like our schedule for forever, post quarantine too. So I'm trying to establish this. So whatever we need to do outside the house, we do it then. Then when we get back from whatever outside activity we did, we will have lunch and then nap. Whatever we're gonna do outside, we do then. And then, get back, lunch, nap. Then when we wake up for nap, we do like our inside activity or whatever like school activity we're gonna do. So if we're going to paint or if we're going to color or we're gonna do shapes, whatever we're gonna do inside, we do it then. And that'll give us a few hours after nap. So if you nap, if they nap from one to four, wake up at four, have free time until seven, dinner at seven, and then like free time with no expectation. So if they want to watch TV or whatever they're gonna do, that's from after dinner until bedtime. Bedtime is nine. And my boys go to sleep kind of late because that's the schedule. My parents got them on. They're the best. Mm, I need, oh, I just use a smaller one. Um, Bay has his cousin Khadija in town and they are going on a trip to Atlanta this weekend to go see one of the best friends, so put that in because, you know, him not being here kind of affects my everyday life. So there's that, I guess I'm gonna have to move this. It's like no space in my day with all these children and activities, good Lord. Um, so then I wonder if he's gonna go to Caribbean Boys Club this weekend on Sunday, if he's gonna be in Atlanta. I don't like that weekend better there. I wanna see the full flow. Hmm. I wonder if there'll be Caribbean Boys Club. Hmm. I mean, I'm sure. He really enjoys it. But maybe not. I don't know. Um, let's put it down. down just in case. And if it isn't Caribbean Boys Club, we could just change it to church. It's like I was marking church in my planner, but like really you don't need to because I mean I can watch it whenever because it's on YouTube and Facebook Live. It's not actually a thing that I need to schedule. I'll get up with God when I get up with him. <laughs> that was terrible. Please ignore. Ugh, all right. 
coolish. All right, okay. What else? What else? What else? This quarantine life is making me super boring, guys. <laughs> I say having been super boring since long before quarantine. Am I putting, I usually don't like this. The weekend better at the bottom of the, guys this is all I got for now um, I filled in as much as I could think of so I think I'm gonna call it a night or a day or a plan with me I'm gonna be done with this now um, I've got quite a few leftover stickers lots and lots and lots of leftovers so some of this will probably end up in my my plan as I go planner my a5 we shall because I don't actually have inserts for that one yet so we'll see but for for now I'm gonna call this one good I put in a few icons I filled in my to-do lists I didn't put anything on the workouts or the um, activity with the boys because I'm gonna save those until we actually do an activity and then I will say what I did and like color in the stars then so that's gonna be it from me thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this plan with me this video feel free to give it a thumbs up like this video if you did in fact like it you can subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more videos like this from me and if you want to be notified every time a video goes live you can ring the notification bell i would greatly appreciate it and you know it'd be fun to hang out or whatever I mean, you don't have to, but if you want to, you know, I'm going to be here. So you should be here too. Um, yeah, that's all I got. Oh, this below the black line are things I'm doing for my sticker shop. Um, I mentioned in another plan with me that I am kind of trying to reignite, reopen my sticker shop. So 
wish me luck with that. Um, but yeah, that's all I got for now. I am gonna go and love you and leave you and I will talk to you later. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.